All right, first I want to say this goes out to Troy Davis, who was killed by the state recently, state of Georgia. And it also goes out to Bradley Manning. If you don't know who he was, he's another person who allegedly has helped us learn the truth. All I really want to talk about today is the concept of solidarity. In every successful movement in the past, there has been solidarity among different kinds of people and different groups. And that's why we've seen in the 60s, for instance, the civil rights movement and the anti-war movement and the women's movement and on and on and on, collaborating with one another and exchanging ideas. And obviously, as I'm looking at an environmental justice sign, shut down Guantanamo, anti-war signs, and stop the war on working people, I'm going to keep this short because I think you get it. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. When it comes to Occupy Portland, I think as a, a, a longest time anti-war activist, I can say thank you. Yeah. Woo! Thank you for coming out in the streets, some of you for getting arrested, just to speak your mind. You know, there's a long line of history of people doing similar things, and we found that's the way things get done. That's the way it gets done. And if I could offer another lesson from the anti-war movement now and in the 60s and around the world, don't get co-opted by the Democratic Party. Woo! When people start talking about the 99% and the 1%, what are we really getting at? We're getting at rich and poor, right? And all around the world, people struggle with these problems, rich versus poor. But we see inequality now like no other time since just before the Great Depression. Massive inequality. So we can bicker over the exact percentages, 99 to 1, is it 90 to 10? But the most important thing to understand is that a very small number of people, they're not just not paying us enough. They're not just making us starve and kill ourselves and go crazy. They're also killing people all around our name and our working class brother and sisters are the ones who are paying for it. Yes, working sir. class people around the world, they're the ones who are paying for it. So it is obvious to all of us here that it's not just that we can take the money spent over there and pay for important social services and projects here, pay for jobs here that don't go to but go for things we need, like cleaning up the environment, like rebuilding our schools, like single-payer health care, like... etc. We see that we could just take the money from there to here. But let, but let me just offer this little piece of advice, which not, not everybody is hip to yet. They go to war in the first place for money. That's why they go to war in the first place, is to economically control the world. They also use other means in this war against the world. Not just military, but along with the military, free trade agreements. Which have recently passed. And how do they get us to buy into this? Racism, uber patriotism, incarceration, TV, fear in general, they, lack of freedom of speech, yes, they shut us down whenever they can and we're here to say we're not going to be shut down.
Public access, k -boo, you name it. It's time for the 99%, it's time for the working class, it's time for us to stay out in the streets and shut down these cities. Not for war and 